Hey guys, it's Mr. Kier bringing you a review on the police baton, or police baton, or nightstick, whatever you want to call it, depends what school you didn't go to. Uh, this is the newest melee weapon that's been released in Combat Arms, got released on the 5th of the 12th, 2013, and let me start off by saying it is so slow and sluggish. Oh my god, uh, this is not going to catch on as the new tracker knife or anything like that. It requires you to be extremely up close and personal with your opponent, and unless your opponent is a Viper or Raven, you, you're not really going to want to get too up and close and personal with them. Especially if they're a Hauser or Horser. Again, depends what school you didn't go to. Now, before I get too far into this video, there's a player in this called Miss You Courage, all capitals, who was blatantly speed hacking. Do you guys believe they were speed hacking? You'll see them quite a bit in kill cams. Uh, I think you'll see them in a moment, actually. And the moderator, T-S-K-O-U-M-I, was refusing to kick them. And then, at the end of the game, goes, Oh, okay, yep, they are hacking. But instead of kicking them, he kicks somebody who was spawn killing. And he spent most of this game spawn killing us. So he's a bit of a rage kicker, and he doesn't kick hackers. So just be cautious if you're in a game with T.S. Galmi, and he is the moderator. I believe he's from Millie Pro. Anyways guys, um, this is Miss Shoe Courage, speed hacking, no invisibility gear or anything, they're just <coughs> blatantly speed hacking. Anyways, back to the review. So the police baton, or baton, or nightstick as I'm going to refer to it from here on out, uh, as I've said, requires you to get very up close and personal with your opponent. It does only deal uh, 53 damage, has 70 portability, which you know, you'd want for a nightstick. You know, you don't want a melee weapon that's got very low portability. Wouldn't exactly be useful. I'm gonna run around and hit you with a sledgehammer, but I can only walk because it's too heavy to run with. Now when you first pull out the nightstick, you've got this like extremely fast twirling motion uh, which gets you to the point that you're at now. This is the left click motion. A weird stabbing motion. Now when you think of attacking somebody with a nightstick, do you think about stabbing them? Do you think about twirling your thing back and forth? Or do you think, oh yeah, by the way, here's to scale me, spawn killing. Um, anyways, do you think about doing that? Or do you think about holding your nightstick above your head and bringing it down on them like a hammer? Or hitting them in the gut to knock them over, uh, to bend them over and then, you know, bring it down on their head or their back and then bashing them on the ground with it. That's how a nightstick is used in my opinion. I have never heard of somebody stabbing somebody with a nightstick and essentially killing them. Um, the right click motion is kind of a bit more nightstick friendly. It's basically swinging it left to right, so it does two dots of damage, which c means it can be a one hit kill. Uh, it also appears to do more damage than a left click, uh, with just one strike connecting. And it's also a lot easier to use, and it gives you more than one chance to do damage. So if you miss on the first, you've got a chance of connecting on the second shot. And you've also got a chance of connecting on both and killing them in, in one motion. So, I definitely recommend right clicking with the nightstick, only because it's it's a lot more user friendly, it's more likely to connect, and it's, it's overall, it's just better than bloody stabbing somebody. Like, look at this. Look, look at that stupid motion. I'm stabbing with a blunt object. That is not going to kill somebody. At all. Like, it's just not. So, apart from that guys, it's it's really not worth buying. I really don't recommend it. It's kind of like, oh, you know, it's 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 new, let's try it. Maybe they'll nerf it. If anything, they're going to need to speed up the weapon, they're going to need to change the attack motion, and they're also going to have to increase the damage for this to be on par with a knife, uh, and increase the range. Because right now, somebody could hit me with a tracker knife or a tiger strider, from a lot further away than I can hit them with a long foot long nightstick. Uh, these things are a lot longer than the knives that people are using. They should have a much further range on them than what they do. Um, it's kind of like using the dumb pedophile sword or the dumb pedro as it's more commonly known unfortunately. Uh, when I did the review on that I mentioned that you can well it has a weird had a weird strike angle where you could kill somebody standing behind you. The right click was definitely the better option for attacking somebody than the left click. Same applies to this. 
you're more likely to get a kill by right clicking. And now that shifting's gone, you can do it without being hackyzized, hackyzated, whatever. I am so glad they patched shifting. The downside is that right now every melee person that relied on it because they have no skill is crying and bitching about it and then won't play a melee game, but they'll get over it because they'll miss knifing people because they suck with guns and melee games will come back and they'll get used to actually having to play with skill rather than play with a glitch. What's your thoughts on shifting guys? Are you guys glad it's gone? Do you guys wish it would come back? Bear in mind it was a glitch that was never intended to be in the game, so for everybody that got used to doing it, you're just as bad as a hacker. People go, but shifting's not hacking. I don't give a shit. Hackers get obsessed with hacking. They get used to it. And they rely on hacks to be able to win. Whether that be chams, or ghost aim, or aimbots, or OPKs, or whatever. That's what they rely on because they have no skill. It is a game exploit. Shifting is a game exploit. It increased your damage, it increased your range, and it made you 100% accurate. It could also one hit kill. So, it was a massive game exploit. And it also allowed you to hit people at faster speeds than you were meant to. It doesn't take skill to shift. Anybody can shift. It takes skill to kill people, and it takes skill to kill people who abuse glitches. So those of you that decided to get used to this glitch and abuse it, I'm glad it's gone and you guys all have no skill. Learn how to play and get over it and stop bitching. Anyways, I will stop bitching myself about people who bitch about shifting being gone and continue bringing you guys this review because it's kind of bloody pointless. Um, you can currently buy this for permanent for, I believe it's 10,000 NX, 10,800 NX. Um, I'm not 100% certain because I'm not on the Combat Arms website. But you can also pick it up for... 30 days or 90 days for 2,000 or 4,900 NX. Currently the 30 days for 2,000 is not available because it's just a preview sale. So while this has been released, it's only a temporary release at the moment, so we still have to wait for it to come, which will probably be the end of end of December or early January. Anyways guys, that pretty much concludes everything for this review. I don't recommend buying this melee weapon, at least not until it's been out for another few months yet. Gets nerfed and we'll see how it happen uh, see how it goes from there because Right now, it's pretty useless. You're not going to get kills. And even in a gun game, if you pull this out to hit somebody, they're going to reload, shoot you, and kill you before your strike even reaches its damage point. So, all up, guys. I do not recommend this gun. Stick with your knives. Stick with an M9. Did I say don't recommend this gun? I don't recommend this knife. Batten. Blunt object. Whatever the fuck you want to call this piece of shit. It is not worth uh, purchasing especially for NX and especially for the extravagant amount they want it for. If this was available for, you know, like 500 NX, I'd say, yeah, use it over a, an M9. But it's really not worth the purchase, guys. Do not buy this permanent. I do not recommend buying it permanent. If they nerf this now and it becomes better than a tracker knife, I will regret saying that. But my advice is not to get it for permanent. By the way, the permanent price is 10,320 NX, and the current 90 day price is 3,920 because it's on sale for 20% off. Anyways, guys, apart from weird motions, sluggish attacks, and very, very short range on it, it's an interesting concept for a melee weapon. It's not sharp, it's a blonde object, but yeah, this is, uh, by the way, this is Tiskaomi. Rage kicking because somebody spawn killed him. So, uh, yeah. Didn't agree with that, but whatever. Um, he kind of needs to learn not to rage kick. If he didn't want people to spawn kill, he can't do it himself, and you need to kind of specify that before the game starts. You can't just change rules as you go, but whatever. It's an elite mod room, and yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm thinking of starting a new YouTube series. And it's about common issues in combat arms that seem to be getting on everybody's nerves, such as, you know, hackers, rage kickers, glitches, uh, shifting, issues like that, and to get your feedback on it, just as a discussion point, you know, for you guys to kind of get feedback and get the views of uh, of people who are been on combat arms for a long time now. Even though a lot of you have been around for a few years, I'm approaching my, my four-year anniversary. It's been a long time. 
So it's, it's going to be interesting, it's an idea I want to put out for you guys, see what you guys think, but I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and don't, for the love of God, buy this melee weapon, it is atrocious. This is, hold on, this is the melee weapon equivalent of a K7. Right there, and you guys know how much I hate that K7. This is the melee weapon equivalent of a bloody K7, and that fucking gun is so terrible. Oh my god. Actually, no, I take it back, I think the Tomahawk... My, no, 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 the Tomahawk still has a better motion, and it looks cooler when you bring it out. Tomahawk is still better than this. And I know some people are really good with the Tomahawk. I have so much respect for those people, but the average player for the Tomahawk, like, no, you can't use it. But for those of you that are good with it, props, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review.